remember that if you go with the Truth, if you go with the Truth, you cannot go wrong, you cannot, because the Truth supports the body, it supports society, it supports humankind, it always does, no exceptions. Namaskar Maharishka, could you please describe more about this impulse in the system? How do you feel it? How do you sense it? This impulse of the truth inside the system. The more you bend in surrender, the more you can move beyond the noise of the ego. That is the most important thing. Because if you have grown up in an Abrahamic environment, in an Abrahamic culture, you have grown up with the idea of a God that is outside yourself. You have grown up with the idea that you are essentially a being of sin. Not in oneness, but as someone that is less than God and can be punished. It's so painful to imagine that so many millions of people live in that extreme falsehood when actually you are the Truth, you are a source of love, a source of compassion and that Soul within is that expression. In order for you to undo a thousand five hundred years of genetic imprint. The first step is to bend down, to understand that within yourself is the Divine, it is within. And once you befriend that idea, then you start to feel the experience of being Divine even before you tune into any Soul or firstly, it is to understand the Truth is within me, the Truth is guiding this body this body is a servant of that Truth within it is not a Truth that punishes it is not a Truth that, that thinks of this body as a sinner it is the Truth that is quietly guiding this whole system and I, Alexandra, must only bend, try to feel my way back to the Truth within which as a small child I knew already. I knew it then and I lost it over the process of socialization. So now, all that noise of the socialized ego has to drop, it has to quiet down. It's like you're cleaving away, like Moses did through the ocean of the ego down to the Truth within. That is only possible when you start to bend and you become humble, you become simple. It's a momentary thing, it's in every moment, it's not necessary to aim at a huge character change, it's just in this moment, I'm humble, I'm bent in surrender and then I start to feel my center. I start to feel that there's something there which is not this body and I just quietly bend to it. I don't say, I am the Soul, that is a ridiculous statement, it's just a, a New Age misrepresentation of ancient philosophies. What you say is, I am this body in surrender to the Soul, I am an instrument of the Soul. And once you start to feel yourself as an instrument of the Soul, you'll start to observe the difference between an action arising from the ego and an action arising from the Truth. You'll automatically start to feel it. 
So that impulse, even if in the beginning you don't feel it, you definitely know what the ego is, and by inference, you will feel what the soul is. Because if your grandmother and your great grandmother and your great great grandmother and your great 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 grandmother have all grown up with the idea that they are sinners, how then are you supposed to feel the divine within? So it's a matter of leaving your way through the ego in there and sitting in, in surrender to that soul. And then you'll start one day, you'll ask a question, you'll say, is this the thing for me to do? And the ego will say, yes, yes, go ahead, it's a perfect thing to do, it's all fine and all beautiful. You do it, and you realize it causes you suffering, then you know, aha, this action is an action inspired by the ego and has brought me suffering. And the next day you'll be more careful, and you'll ask again, is this action arising from the Truth or from the ego? And you'll suddenly feel, no, it's not the ego that's pushing you to do this, there's something within an impulse, just making you do it, and then you do it, and you realize, this has not brought me suffering. So obviously it is arising from something which is not the ego. And the next day, you directly go to the Truth, and you ask, is this the thing for me to do? And you may feel that impulse, as a yes or a no. And the first day you may not feel it, but the next day you may, and you keep on asking, but already now, you know, approximately, which actions are arising from the Ego, and which are arising from the Truth. And the more so-called modernized, so-called advanced, your society is, the greater the chance that you are acting from Ego, one to one. So, it makes it very easy to understand that if you are living in and nurtured by an advanced society, and advanced in, in quotes, then you have to be even more careful. Because that so-called advanced society is only based on the ego of the individuals living in that society. And although we may need many of those advances, it also makes us into more egoistic beings. So that is where the bending starts, every day, every moment, in each moment. Remember that if you go with the Truth, if you go with the Truth, you cannot go wrong, you cannot, because the Truth supports the body, it supports society, it supports humankind, it always does, no exceptions. So that is the process. You start with the surrender, you bend, you try to distinguish, is this action coming from the Ego? Is it coming from the Truth? Slowly, slowly, step by step by step, you make your way to the Truth, in deep surrender, as a servant of the Truth, and you live your normal life, and you keep on training yourself, that is the sadhana that is spoken about here. And it's a tough sadhana, but it also has very amazing um, experiences it brings with it. And the joy just grows, it just simply does. Yes. We invite you to a live online satsang with Maharishi Kapriti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below.